Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, we will learn that how we can do clustering in Microsoft Power BI. So let's get start first the conceptual side and then we will uh, hands on this clustering in Microsoft Power BI application in a scatter chart. So what is clustering? It's basically the method of identifying similar groups of data in a data set is called clustering. So it's a very simplified definition. It's identify the similar groups uh, from the data and make some clusters, make some groups. So it is one of the most popular techniques in data science. Entities in each group are comparatively more like entities of that group than those of other groups. So this is uh, one of the picture to understand clustering in a more better way. So you have some inputs and uh, then you define a model which in, in the input you see some uh, example this is the data where you have some basketball or baseball and footballs uh, but after passing it through through a certain model of clustering uh, it makes some groups of that similar uh, balls right so clustering is the most popular technique in unsupervised learning where data is grouped based on the similarity of the data points the basic principle behind clusters is the assignment of a given set of observations into subgroups or clusters such that observations present in the same cluster processes a degree of similarity so for example if you go for a shopping and you see a basket which contains a lot of different kind of fruits in it so you can easily distinguish between apples and oranges in in a set containing right in that particular basket distinguish those fruits in into different clusters is because they they are distinguished as an objects based on their colors textures and other sensory information which is processed by your brain so similar kind of things happens with the system as well uh, when we apply clustering so as i said that it is a method of unsupervised learning remember that since there is no external label attached to that object so the machine has to learn the features and patterns all by itself without giving any input and output mapping so the algorithm is able to extract inferences from the nature of data objects and then create distinct classes to group them appropriately so let's have one more example so you have a data set and you know that the customers are coming in and they they do some shopping so uh, before clustering uh, you can see in the picture that they they want to identify the potential customer based for selling the product so, so to target that particular product to that particular uh, customer uh, they need to do some clustering analysis so implementing clustering in algorithms to the group of customer base and then after I identifying classifying that particular group they can target particular product to that specific group or cluster right so this is how uh, you this clustering uh, you can say chart will look like in this power bi application uh, some there will be many dots and they have some different colors so this is basically a clustering uh, you can see as a visual in microsoft power bi application so let's get into the technical portion where we will apply practically clustering in Microsoft Power BI. We are in Microsoft Power BI application where I have, where I have uh, inserted a scatter chart from this visualization pane and I have plot in x-axis uh, the area in square yards, in the y-axis the current price and in the details also the current price. Now I want to uh, cluster do apply clustering on this particular chart. I want to apply clustering on this scatter chart so for that you need to click on three dots which are on top right side of this particular visual or object so when you click on these three dots which is more options and you will find uh, the option available that is automatically find cluster so click on this and here either you can uh, define number of clusters you want three four five or let the system identify for you auto okay so if i click ok the system will read on the back end that how many clusters could have been made but if you want to go with a specific number of clusters write that number here so for example for this specific visual i want four clusters so i have mentioned four here and i will press ok
and now you can see that within few seconds there are four different clusters available so if we go to the data view you will find uh, one additional column has been added in which you will see the cluster 1 cluster 3 cluster 2 yes uh, according to the groups the the cluster has has been applied in this application so we have defined four cluster uh, if you go to the legend and if you remove this current price cluster so definitely it will remove from here and if you want to uh, automatically find clusters and you don't want to identify the number so you can just press ok here so now the system will identify and make some uh, groupings based on similar similarities and the system has made I guess approximately 12, uh, 12 clusters for this data set so I, I hope you learn that how to do clustering in Microsoft Power BI application that is very very easy right thank you